Hey guys, welcome back to Muradhan Run and in today's video we will be talking about the most in demand jobs here in Canada. We will be talking about all those jobs which you should be looking at, you should be eyeing at if you're planning to come to Canada and you're looking to get into any of these fields. This will actually be good because these are the job roles where getting a job is easy. Ideally right now there is sort of a labor shortage here in Canada. So there are some roles which you can actually look for. if you're planning to come to canada which can end up yielding you very good results so without further ado let's directly jump into it at number 15 we have accounting clerks average median hourly wage would be 22.56 dollars and the noc code is 1431 so what they basically do is they prepare invoices calculate what are the accounts payable what are the accounts receivable and all of those clerical accounting work now One very good thing about this is from 2019 till 2028 it is expected that new 37800 jobs would be coming out of this field alone so that's at number 15 at number 14 we have mechanical engineer average median hourly wage would be 42 and then noc code noc code is 2132 i'll not go into explaining what mechanical engineer does the number of new jobs expected out of mechanical engineering is 11230 from 2019 till 2028 at number 13 we have it project managers average median hourly wage is 52.88 the noc code is 0213 for several years project management in it has been the most in demand job here in canada because of the money that you make here as well as the demand it has so if you wish to come towards this side professional management of projects uh the pro- certificate name is project management professional pmp certification is something that you should look out for because what i have heard from people who have been in project management this has been the best degree that could have helped them in it at number 12 you have electrician average median hourly wage is 30 noc code is 7241 7242 7243 and and there are a couple of other noc codes for this from 2019 to 2028 it is expected that 23400 electrician jobs will be created in the economy and only 20000 people will be coming to the economy to fill these so there is still a gap of electricians here in canada and trust me these jobs electricians plumbers this is a very 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 good thing to be in canada i don't think of it like electrician kon banna chahta i don't want to be an electrician they are so highly paid so being an electrician is actually a very good thing here in canada as well as new zealand all these places they actually value electricians unlike india next is hr manager hr manager has a median hourly wage of 49.74 the noc code is 0112 I personally think you would already know what an HR manager does. His ideal work is to get new fresh talent and the talent it has to retain that talent and make their work easier, make them happy in the company. So you already know what an HR manager does. But did you know that Canadian economy would be needing 49,000 HR managers? So HR if you plan if you have done HR and you planning to come to Canada if you have some experience coming to Canada and getting a job might not be that difficult at number 10 you have cloud architect average median hourly wage of 41.03 dollars and the noc code is 2171 due to covid everything had to go online now because of that the requirement of all these tech professionals has just shot up all throughout the economy and this is one very interesting field that you can look into and cloud is the future like it has already been the future since a long time but it is still going to be very strong in this economy next you have an accountant like a normal accountant the average median hourly wage would be 35.75 and the noc code is 1111 now the number of jobs coming out of accountancy would be 79600 now if you are a cpa a canadian cpa cpa is like a chartered accountant like we have chartered accountancy in india here we have a cpa now if you are a cpa and you plan to come to this economy it would be a really good thing because the number of chartered accountants the number of cpas that the this economy requires right now is huge because what do accountants do the number of businesses that open up more the number of businesses more the number of accountants that they would require so since canadian economy is growing left right and center they would need more and more accountants not only for companies but for personal people as well for personal accounting as well so all this is going to lead to a massive boom of need of accountants here in this economy next you have engineers average median hourly wage of 44 dollars the noc code there are way too many so you have 2131 2132 and then go so on till 2148 like i do not even need to explain that engineers are required always and the number of jobs coming out of engineering is the maximum 
it has somewhere around 1 lakh jobs coming out so 1 lakh engineers are not that well respected in india but then here a boom let me do one thing let me keep number 7 and number 5 for blue collar jobs because i don't think like there are many people talking about those blue collar jobs and here in this economy we do need some blue collar people as well so let me talk about those as well at number 7 you have welder the average median hourly wage right now is 21 the noc code is 6552 and 6551 ideally you'll be thinking why is a welder here and the hourly wage is not also that good but the number of requirements of welders here right now in this economy is huge so if you're planning to come to canada and you do not have educational experience and you want to come here somehow that is why i have kept welder here because if you know if you have welding experience that is something that can land you in this economy very easily trust me on this very easily at number 6 we have customer service rep average median hourly wage of 19 noc code is 6552 and 6551 customer service help actually help in solving problems via email phone call whatever the problems that you're facing so all this work ideally was being uh, transferred to the indian offices as kpo system we were working on kpo and bpo system so it was being uh, transferred to that but there are many companies who still do not transfer that and they actually have pride in saying that all our customer service reps are here in canada only so that actually gives them a boost while making a sale so because of all this csr is also something that is getting bigger and bigger here in this economy at number 5 we have a driver the average median hourly wage would be 21 noc code would be 7511 the total number of drivers expected in the economy is 119900 now there is a catch here if you're planning to go for a trucking driver or trucking license then it is a whole new thing the average median salary is whatever we're talking about ignore them just multiply them with 10 that is your hourly wage in a trucking business because trucking is huge here in canada but if you're coming for a local normal driver even in that case you will be earning a lot okay multiplied by 10 was an exaggeration but then you'll be making a lot of money in trucking business here in canada but apart from that if you're coming as a normal driver also you'll be making very good money next you have registered nurse the average median hourly wage is 40 and the noc code is 3012 now registered nurse here in canada is a very big thing uh, ideally it would require a four year degree to become a registered nurse but the number of jobs coming out of it is 156000 because the economy is anyhow getting older by the day so that would all they also give a huge emphasis on the elder people so because of all that this economy is going to need a lot of registered nurses also at number 3 you have marketing managers the average median hourly wage is 43.27 and the noc code is 0124 now marketing managers are highly required here and specifically in the state of ontario so sometimes what happens is they go and pick people directly from marketing managers from the federal pool so ontario is the biggest state uh, which hires maximum number of people it has toronto and all these big places niagara falls and all so ontario and ottawa as well so this state itself goes and picks up people directly from marketing managing because that is one thing which is highly required here in this state and apart from that also other states also require marketing managers like the demand of this is very good in this economy number 2 we have developers ideally website developers the average median hourly wage is 38.46 and the noc code is 2174 and 2175 be it pandemic be it post pandemic the number of developers required in this economy has shot up like crazy like so the number of developers this economy still requires is crazy and they get highly paid but very interestingly you do not need to be in canada to be a developer ideally if you want to do a job you do but you can take up projects sitting in india based out of canada which is a very big thing so you could check out the very big websites that you have out there these being a few like my friends also use them no promotion these are not promotional things but yes you can look out for this it actually like up work is something i would highly recommend if you get doing well on upwork you can actually make good money and have clients from canada as it is a bit difficult to get started with it but once you do the amount of money that you can make is fiverr is also something not bad but upwork is very good and i am not doing this as a promotional thing i'm actually i actually want if you're a developer to do this because you can make very good money 
and with that we have completed our list from 15 to 2 at number 1 i'm not going to say it if you guys know what number 1 is do let me know in the comment section i hope you guys watched this video till here if you did thank you so much for watching the entire video do let me know in the comment section if i should post more such videos and if you have any idea what number 1 should be and if i do not get many comments i'll just realize that i'll just figure out i'll just know that not all the people are watching my video till the end this is a bad thing because i'm actually recording all these videos for you guys are you guys even watching this video till the end let's hope you are let's be positive with that hope to see your comment in the description in the description in the comment section and if you like this video you might want to see this cons on canada cons of canada video thank you so much for watching have a good day